Good evening, my name is Mary Williams and I am going to go over how my practicum has gone so far. So as we got to know each other, I noticed um, a ton of interest in books. It stood out to me the most because I love reading as a child. So I enjoyed seeing the children in the reading cove and looking at pictures and the covers of the book to see what the books were about. So that helped them kind of get an understanding of how some of the words were just by looking at the pictures. So it started with a book on edible colors, which the children were expected to see um, different fruits and veggies of different um, parts of the country that they'd never seen before. And it kind of um, went along with learning their colors as well. And it also um, began, as we were reading that book, we began talking about how eat, um, about healthy eating. So I kind of was like, okay, so let's see if it's going to go from the healthy style of it or the books itself so after reading that book we did um i created an art activity for them where i bought in my spin art machine and we did all the colors of the fruits and veggies that they enjoyed eating the most um i wanted to bring in different fruits and veggies from different cultures um, to kind of get that experience with them so that they can taste them, but it didn't, it didn't work out. So that was okay. So, um, after doing the spin art activity together, we were still reading books every maybe two days. So I, cre I ended up creating a classroom library. I noticed that one of the breakout rooms, they weren't really using, they were really using it for storage and they had a ton of books. So I was like, okay, well, let me create a classroom library since they, they never had one. So I then I ordered um, library cards. I gave each one a library card, all 75 of them, um, library cards. And they were super excited. They enjoyed the experience of having their own libraries. They were showing responsibility with keeping their cards and bringing um, their books back from home, which some of them had some issue, but most of them got the routine down packed. And even on Fridays, they were quick to tell their peers who still didn't get the routine of, okay, on Fridays, we don't check out books. So they were like, remember, it's Friday. We don't check out books on Friday. We have to come out. We just have to turn our books in and we check out again on Monday. So it had gotten to a routine where I didn't even have to mention it because they were telling each other. Um, I have been, um, reading and providing those small groups with reading with reading those books in the reading cove um so i can see their growth in reading i can see how they were picking out sight words and different um things that we were reading so that made me super excited um we began in february to read on famous black people um so i remember one particular book that we read together i started to ask open ended questions about how they felt about the book and they began to express that they didn't really like the book on Bessie Coleman because she ended up dying at the end of that book. So I had to kind of explain to them and, you know, to perk them back up and explain to them like, hey, Bessie Coleman loved, she was the first black woman to fly a plane. She loved planes. She died in an accident on a plane, but she died loving, she died happy and she died loving what she, you know, wanted to do. So I then created a black history experience with them with planes we actually made our own planes and then i took them outside and we flew the planes so that kind of turned everything around and i asked them how they felt they enjoyed that um making their own planes and flying them so i then read a book to them about called ish um it describes how you may feel kind of queasy or something may be not what it seemed um, that's the first time that I noticed that we were doing something that wasn't developmentally appropriate for the children because they did not gain any understanding of what that book ish was about. Um, so I kind of felt bad. I was like, okay, is this going to tear them from wanting to read? Because I tried to explain it to them for like two days and they still did not understand what that book is about. So then we began reading a book about age and celebration of it being the 100th day of school. So um, I chose to read 101 Dalmatians and had the children dress up as their favorite character in the book. I took many pictures. They enjoy that. We actually ended up doing it for an entire week of them dressing up as different characters of their favorite book and they brought in their book from home. So that was an experience that we were connecting from home and school. So I took a lot of pictures um, that week 
um, on the 100th day of school. Um, after that, I then introduced a book on musical instruments to them. Um, those who began to explain what instruments they played. Surprisingly, one of our students played the guitar. So she had a purple guitar. And in that book, she described her purple guitar and she that's how I knew that she had one because she was like oh I have a guitar like that I have a purple guitar at home too and then one of the one of the babies she said my mom has a daycare um so I played all the instruments I played with all the her toy instruments that she have in her daycare and I tried not to laugh and I was like oh, okay um so I, I'm I'm pretty sure you've played all many instruments if you played all the instruments in your mom's daycare um, so the following week, we began a lesson on classroom similarities and differences in animals. So I noticed the excitement changed from when we read books on different animals like frogs. We did um, birds. But then when we got to the experience of ocean animals, I saw the shift. They were really ready to explain how their beach experiences were and what they saw on the beach. So I said, hmm, okay, so we're going to start there. We're going to, and we're still going to read these books on animals. So then we began, you know, the discussion. So I started asking them questions um, about when they went to the beach. So then that's when I um, was informed that one of my children has never been to the beach before. So I began to brainstorm and build on that as I was still reading those books to them. Um but then it was spring break. So after spring break, I tried to pick their brains to see if they were still interested in reading, which they were. So then they began to describe some of their family experiences um, from spring break. Um, some of them were saying how they went to their grandmother's house and planted gardens. So I referred back to, you know, the fruits and veggies book that we read. And then some of, one of my students went to the Bahamas. She actually would not leave without getting me a souvenir her mom told me so i that's another thing that i enjoy i enjoy that the families welcome me in with open arms and i can communicate with them about everything so so then i decided that we were going to bring the the ocean waves to the classroom so i did an experience where i bought in some mason jars filled it up with water had oil and put blue um food coloring in it to give the creation the creating the ocean the blue ocean so we did that experience. Um, they really enjoyed it. They loved it. And we also made fish food, which I just made with Chex Mix. They were able to choose what they wanted for their fish food. And then we had like little snacks and we began a discussion on, you know, what we eat at the beach. Um, and they were telling about all the food snacks that they had. And then, like I said, they mixed their own um, fish food, but it was really Chex Mix. Um, so then after the spring break, when we still were talking and we still were reading um, and they were, I saw that they were still interested in the ocean part, I bought in some blue clay and I gave them my, finally one of my family experiences at the beach and some of the seashells that we picked from the beach and I gave it to them so that they can make their own seashells. Um, once they made their own, they were excited about that. They got their own play, their own clay. They in, put the indentions from the seashells that I that are brought in and made their own seashells with clay. It took about 24 hours. And I got pictures of that um, as well as the seashells of that. They were pretty cool. I was kind of super excited about what they, what they made as well. Um, and then I got them to write what they felt. Um, some of their experiences at the beach, what they smelled, what, what the ocean water tasted like, if it was salty, they never tasted the water. Um, and I was kind of disappointed because the one child who went to the Bahamas for her spring break, she wanted, she was so excited about sharing her experience on the Baham on the Bahamas, um, trip. She wanted to tell everybody that she didn't wear a life jacket. She got in the water at the beach and she was super excited, but she got sick. So she wasn't able to experience that, which I was kind of sad because I wanted her to share that experience with everyone. Um, but then I got the children to um, write about 
the things that they felt, what the she- seashells felt like. I got them to listen inside the seashells and they said that they heard the ocean and they wrote about it and they um, drew a picture about what they felt, what they tasted, how the sand feel felt, how the um, seashells felt and if they could hear the water in um, the seashells that they chose to do their own when they created their own seashells. So then I made a book about our classroom ocean experiences and i use what they wrote if you can see it some of them have some actual good handwriting but i created our own book that we are going to present to the little girl in our classroom who has not been to the beach before so that is where i am i'm super excited to go next week and present this book to her even she wrote what she felt um with the the seashells creating her own and if she heard the ocean she even wrote what she felt as that ocean experience so i'm super excited that this um it went from books to the beach to us showing her what it is to be at the beach so i am very proud of what i was able to have her experience even though she has never been to the beach we bought the beach to her so like i said i'm super excited for her to get this book and be able to take it home and take her seashell that she created last week. So bye.